This B-47 is equipped with an experimental installation of six chaff dispensing systems. Two are located in each wing tank, and two are located in the fuselage above the aft main landing gear. The systems in the fuselage occupy the ATO, or assist takeoff, compartment. Chaff is a radar reflective material which has proved to be an electronic countermeasure. Made of aluminum foil, the chaff is cut into specific lengths representing one half of a wavelength. These are called dipoles. By releasing thousands of dipoles at the same instant, target reflections are obtained on any number of radars, even though their combined operational frequencies cover a range of several million cycles. To obtain instantaneous release, a large number of dipoles are packaged in a single unit. If the chaff is designed to cover the operating frequency of a given radar, the unit, when dispensed, will show up on the scope as a target similar and equal in size to the dispensing aircraft. Chaff units are fastened at regular intervals along two carrier tapes. The units are free to open when they have been pulled from the carrier tapes and ejected into the airstream. The rushing air blasts them open, thus scattering dipoles behind the plane. Note that the test system fits easily into the ATO compartment with very little aircraft modification necessary. Each dispensing system in the fuselage can carry 384 chaff units in the 10 to 3400 megacycle or the 2500 to 11,000 megacycle range. Chaff packages go into the hopper a carton at a time with the tail ends of the carrier tapes of one carton being spliced to the lead ends of the next. With loading completed, the lead end of the now continuous tape is threaded into the stripper unit. When started by the co-pilot, the stripper unit pulls the carrier tapes free of the chaff units, allowing them to drop one by one down the chute and into the airstream. Used tapes stack themselves between the end of the hopper and the ejection chute. An operational check is made of the mechanism to prevent any malfunction. This is done in spite of the proven dependability of the stripper unit. The B-47 experimental chaff dispensing program was initiated in January 1953 by the countermeasures branch of the Aircraft Radiation Laboratory, Wright Air Development Center. The goal was the development of a practical chaff dispensing system suitable for use with B-47 aircraft. Experimental systems were undergoing flight testing by late February 1953, and all systems proved to be equally effective. One problem encountered by the designers early in the testing program was that of final ejection of the chaff units. Because the original ATO compartment was tightly sealed, chaff units failed to be ejected. The difficulty was alleviated in two ways, first by a redesign of the chute exit and second, by placing vent holes in the ATO compartment covering panels. The vent holes allowed air to enter, circulate, and discharge through the chute, thus aiding in the ejection of the chaff packages. The modification of the chute consisted of the addition of a radius to the aft edge to deflect the airstream from the chute exit and consequently improve circulation. To examine the feasibility of alternative locations for the systems, wing tanks were built to carry two chaff dispensing systems each. Hopper units are removed easily once the nose and tail of the tank are opened. These units are also controlled by the co-pilot. On the test aircraft, all six systems can be made to operate individually or simultaneously.
Each wing tank hopper is loaded with 480 chaff units in the 10 to 3400 megacycle or the 2500 to 11,000 megacycle range. The cover ensures that violent movements of the plane won't disarrange the load while in flight. The procedure for feeding the first few chaff units into the stripper manually is the same as with the systems in the fuselage. Loaded hoppers are replaced from opposite ends. One stripper unit and chute is located in the front of the tank, the other in the aft. When end cones are replaced, standard operational checks of the mechanisms will be made. Everything is in readiness for a test flight. The overall flight testing of the experimental equipment included a number of phases. The first was an evaluation of the system's effectiveness in ejecting chaff units. The second involved a check of the pattern on a radar scope, which the released chaff created. The third objective was to determine what effect, if any, the system had on the test aircraft. The rate of ejection from each system is variable from 7 to 240 units of chaff per minute. This is a desirable feature because it increases the versatility of the equipment for any mission. Because chaff from the test B-47 cluttered radar screens, a beacon whose antenna you see here was installed to give the aircraft's actual location so that it might be compared to readings obtained on the test radars. Wing tank and ATO compartment systems proved to be equally effective chaff ejectors. However, due to the increased drag characteristics of the external system, it was deemed less feasible for the immediate mission of the B-47. Should future operational requirements warrant additional chaff capacity, the external systems might be utilized with the resulting aerodynamic drag penalty. Note the manner in which the chaff package opens immediately on entering the airstream. Nose and tail shoot locations in the wing tanks worked equally well. It is an interesting fact that if all the chaff carried by the dispensing systems on the test B-47 were emptied instantaneously and individual target discrimination could be accomplished, it would light up a radar scope as though several thousand aircraft were coming.
To evaluate the flight tests, these motion pictures were photographed at the rate of 400 frames per second. Compared to the 24 frames per second at which this picture is projected, the action is slowed down to 1 17th of its actual speed. The test aircraft flew at an indicated airspeed of 450 knots. The dispensing systems in these scenes were set to eject 240 units per minute, although during other tests, the rate of ejection was varied. The results of the three phases of the test program prove the value of the system. First, the dispensing system itself met the requirements for a reliable, low maintenance and lightweight piece of equipment which would dispense chaff at variable rates of speed. Second, the effect of the chaff on observing radars proved to be an adequate countermeasure. With regard to the third objective, it was found that the wing tanks added a drag load to the B-47. Since the ATO compartment location added no appreciable drag load and was equally effective from an operational viewpoint, it was apparent that the ATO compartment was the most feasible location for the system. As a result of these tests, the ATO compartment shaft dispensing system will come as standard equipment on new B-47 bombardment aircraft. Practical, reliable, efficient. The B-47 chaff dispensing system will make a valuable contribution to the striking power of United States Air Force bombers.